Yes, we are back again. Our last day of the three days inaugural celebration of President Francis Clamayos. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Air Force One here. We are here and back on it again. Uh, the last day of the inaugural ball, three days. We got voice to sign up. We got VOSD in the building. Yes. Uh, yes. If you are now with President Francis Clamayos. Your life is short, <laughs> not in a bad way, but fun. You know, your fun life will be short. Yeah, we got New Yorkers. Uh, New, New York is in the building. First, the first, first lady of Florida and the first man, the queen. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, something is about to happen here. The president wants one second. One second. One, one, we're we'll counting now. One second. One. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Voices Sano. It's a three-day inaugural celebration, uh, President Francis Clamayos. And so this is the barbecue right now, the third day, the third day. And so you'll be getting breaking news from Florida, breaking news from Florida. Uh, the financial team, uh, the Minister of, of Finance is here, Ernest Farley, the Treasurer IRS is here. Yeah, you see, you see the cumbers here, the guys. I don't know why in the blue cups, you know, I can't say something about it. But I did, they got that blue cups. Melvin Dua is in the building. Yes. And the, the Archbishop of Philadelphia is here. And the great poor. VP, Iowa, is here. And that the National Planning Hill. You see the woman get money. Look at the fingers. It's money, right? When you broke, you get a folder. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the National Chair Lady of EULA, the Union of Liberian Association in the Americas. You know, at the moment, anytime you're lucky, you get Gucci watch, sometimes cards, you get give, giving people gifts. Mr. President of North Dakota, uh, some people they call it North Korea. In, uh, yeah. Yeah, so the minister is here, multiple. She got multiple talents, you know, she's a movie producer, she's a preacher, interior designer, and the list goes on. All right, so we are waiting. At the, yes, the National uh, Vice President of our Union, Honorable William Mane, is in the building. The biggest chapter in the Union, uh, the President, <laughs> Honorable Mason Tuba is here. The man yeah. got three states on his belt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and the prayer warrior here too. She prays. <laughs> and this is the chair lady for Delaware Valley chapter. Yes, ma'am. She hosted a work on night uh, program. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and we got the elders here. These are the people that started the organization. Yeah, the, I understand Reverend Bly was the treasurer forever. <laughs> after, 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 after being president. Oh, pre, after being president. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah. That part is when the, uh, when the organization was brought together to help our people first. 
and about the people to marry me. And we were doing that. Until when he became president for the for United Sapo Association to hold the first meeting at his convention. That one I would have a blast uh uh key. Uh, 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 first we just used to go, oh, we collect the money, we do whatever we wanted to do. But say, let's sit down and talk. What do we do tomorrow? That from from, from his presidency. Amen. I want to get more from you guys, surely. Yeah, the Korean executive is here. Madam President, quick, <laughs> quick, uh, um, no one is not part of us. And, and all right. Yeah, we work under the, under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So when the Holy Spirit leads me to preach now, I will preach. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. But uh, not to worry your, your, your conscience anyway, but let me just say something. Okay, sure. Let me just say something that is dear to me personally. I will have said it at the time you went to my house. Uh, the first activities of this uh, occasion was at my house. Just go one or two months or a few years back. The meeting at my house used to be for funeral services. And you know, um, people always say, and sometimes I think maybe uh, um, a senior pastor is here, probably, uh huh, we got a family of God here. There's a saying that the voice of man is the voice of God. I don't know how true it is, really. But we, I mean, we'll, uh, scripturally, we'll look at it. When people were pulling at our house, uh, occasion after occasion, especially concerning death. From the last meeting, I don't want to name the depths. From the last meeting, there was people saying, we don't want to come in the house again for, 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 for funeral. This time we want to come here for merry making. That's the voice of man. And I think God heard that. That one of the things that made me happy. And so, uh, and that one of the reasons why I, I have been with you and I will continue to be with you. Amen. 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 But not to worry your, uh, uh, your conscience. Let's pray. Father God, shall we stand if you can? If you can, okay. If you, if you, if you can, let you stand. Our Lord, our Savior, some writers say, if I, if I have 10,000 tons, I will praise my Redeemer. Dear Lord, we want to thank you for who you are. First, for being our God. We are sinful, yet, yet, you are faithful to us. Thank you, Daddy, that you have overseen. You took over it. And we are now climaxing the, 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 the activities. Your children have flown from here and there. Some people rode. Some people walked. And dear Lord, you were at the forefront of everything. We want to thank you for the success of this occasion. Dear Lord, there are still other activities to go on. But I know one thing, dear, dear God, that when you start something, you finish it. You don't stop halfway. So whatever you have begun, we want to thank you to carry all through. 
We want to use the opportunity to, even though last night, that, that special prayer was offered. That uh, Reverend Black was saying last night, the first of a kind for a social organization to request prayer. If you listen to Reverend Black's uh, uh, prayer last night, a social organization to say, let the minister of the gospel come and pray for me. We cherish that. And want to bless your name, King Jesus. Take control of every situation. People who are on their way, come and give them traveling mercy. People who are even watching over Facebook, that give them that, 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 that zeal. Daddy God, the meal that have been prepared, the hands that prepare those meals. King Jesus, I say, take control of everything. If there's any other thing that we didn't put before you, Lord Jesus, you know what we are in need of better than we can tell you. Mm -hmm. So we ask that you send that Holy Spirit to intercede for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you. That's the Reverend. That's the Reverend there. Uh, Reverend Suat, that was a bit of splendid prayer, praying to the invisible man. And the Reverend said something that evokes, popo evokes there. The voice of the people is the voice of God. You know, that is something that people have to analyze. It says, vox popo evokes there, the voice of the people. So he doesn't say the voice of God is the voice of the people. The voice of the people, you know, so without us, God does not have a voice. Uh, just thank you for coming. You know, um, on the behalf of my family, my wife, and myself, we want to take this time to welcome all of you. Some of you have been here before, and this is your home. Make yourself comfortable. We all don't have to sit here. We can sit outside, you know, wherever. We we'll try to extend the music out there. We can sleep here. We got extra bedrooms. Amen. And so, uh, the fundraising didn't end last night. So, <laughs> so uh, now my wife and I, we, we, we are doing what we call playing home. So we will uh, give the first $500 to start at night. So, you want to show that around? Can we have a, where you put my Yeah, yeah. And run it. So, um, just to add to that, just to add to that, um, just to add to that, uh, you guys are welcome. We got five bedrooms in the house. We got four bathrooms. So, few at home. Enjoy, have fun. We got a lot of food over there. So, have fun. You guys are welcome. How many person per... <laughs> How many person per bear? Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, guys. This this three day three day three. Okay. Day um, three. We, yeah, yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Ah, uh, we will now. We will now call on the National Sister Born to give her remarks. A national Sister Born, a National Sister Born in the uh, in the building. So uh, perhaps uh, there will be a breaking news yet. National Sister Born here. So this is VOSD. We are coming to you uh, from. From Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's the last day in the inaugural celebration of President Francis Clark Myers and her team. And so uh, we're just about to officially uh, start, it started already officially. And there's a little tight in here. And this is our, our national queen here. You see, you see the. I mean, I mean, I don't have to explain to you. It's right there, coin. Yeah, coin. See, just that they didn't put a national or the local. They just say coin. You know. 
Yeah, well, that's a national queen. Dr. Fala is there. You want to say something? Okay. Hey, Mr. Jackson Williams, welcome aboard. And the minister is here. We're great, Claude Romane. Yeah. The chairman of the Electoral Commission, Delaware Valley Chapter, Mr. Yofua, is here. Uh, he has a special announcement. The Honorable Mayor who hosts the Oil Minnesota. A uh, beautiful house, you know. Yeah, I, did. I know. I know, yeah. Uh, Mr. William Jawi, Jow yeah, Mr. Jawi is here uh, from Minnesota. He had to support us. He hosted us. He hosted the president the other day when we went to the, uh, the Midwest. And uh, very nice man, Mr. Newell is here. If anybody here that wants to say something, come to me so that I can put your knee down. We do not have a formal um Hello, hello, please guys, perfect our national president of National Sister Bond want to give her contribution. We did not give our contribution last night, so she didn't necessary to do it yet today. So please, family, we need your ears. Yeah, National Sister Bond. Hello. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Um, we want to give God the glory this evening for this unique program for my daughter inauguration. Madam President, you got Sister Bon support. Last night we spoke, we said we're going to sponsor one student of $200. So we are here to, to fulfill our promise. So we give you a amount of $150. She come in cash as you $50. $50 to make it $200. So we already, we promise you, we're going to take care of one student. So we are here to fulfill our promise. Again, congratulations to you and your team. Uh, we thank you for good work. We're going to work with you. We have our convention here in October, October 15. So you let's work together. As one of the speakers said last night, you scratch them back. I scratch your back. So when you support me, I support you. Yeah. So now at the inauguration, we are fully represented. So we want to see everybody to our convention this year in Philadelphia. So my daughter, I got your back. So congratulations. All right, National Sister Bond, the president, Madam Comfort Soba, uh, the sponsor of one student uh, to fulfill the, uh, the plan of the president. Yeah, so we want to say it. Uh, maybe the, while the queen can come and support, the queen try to sponsor our student too. Uh, hello, hello, hello. So we will now welcome to the max Dr. Fale, Chairman of the Board of Directors. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. A brotherly love and sisterly affection. And one thing that I around long enough to know is that there was a time we had a queen contest and the internet. 
and they brought their queen and those from Minnesota put together and they brought their queen. We were at pressing middle of 12 pressing for North Carolina and when we stood up, they couldn't defeat us. They try and try and try. But when they try and try and we put something there, they couldn't stand it. And we had to win our queen contest. So we are being around for a while. That I am very much delighted. I am happy. I'm overwhelmed. I thank God for all of the support we have gotten since we've been here. Because we have been challenged beyond our limits over the past few years. But finally, the Lord has answered our prayer. When we were elected, we had a problem. The 541c3 of the organization expired. And what we needed was brain power. Well, I'm here to announce to you that based on our education, we use our brain power and we were able to get the 541c3 back into order. We also realized that our money was taken from the bank. The money that was taken from the bank, unfortunately, is our own brothers and sisters who were supporting that idea. Okay. We did not want anybody to be in trouble. So I'm here to announce to you that we have a settlement. Yeah. The settlement, everybody not happy with it. Myself, I'm not happy with it. But it saved our brothers and sisters from going to jail because some of them could have been in trouble. And tomorrow, somebody will say, but where was Dr. Tali that his own education put somebody in trouble? We didn't want that. I know that's not what you wanted. This is the reason we had the compromise. And today, we have a peace in the making. And we believe that it is just a matter of time that all Sapo people will come together again. The reason for that is because I'm one of the founding members of the organization and also the first secretary general of this organization. And our intention was to assure that this organization brings the Sapo people together because of a story we heard that our people were dying. If they go to Sano, they will say Sapo the crime. When they come to Monrovia, some of the people say, you know, they are West Saint people. Charles Taylor Group was against them. So there was no way for our people to turn. Nowhere. As a result, we came together to unite ourselves. And God has made it possible that what started as a little organization with few persons at that time yeah. has turned out to be as big as it is today. So I am proud as one of the organizing people to be part of it up to this time. Finally, finally, because I'm from the richest family in Sano. <laughs> when they say Panseriache, Panseriache, wherever we go, we are like rich people. Because we got money. You see, our riches is not, we are not rich, but we are wealthy. And this is what I mean. A rich person just got money. But a wealthy person has resources. They have property. When they are in trouble, they can make a phone call and immediately help will come. They have good health. So they do not just have money in the bank and laying down in the hospital where somebody pumping food in their stomach. Yeah. That's what wealthiness is about. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So we are wealthy people. And as a wealthy man, yeah. I just want you to know, yeah. to our mothers who have been strong behind us all of this time, yeah. we are going to make available $500 for all that they have done. Yeah. And for the children... 
because we value education yeah. for the children who we want to sponsor we are also going to make available five hundred dollars for a scholarship so as the richest man in this community right now we are giving the total of one thousand dollars hallelujah and may god bless you thank you so much and now you know that your uh, that your that your boat chair yeah. is with you 100 yeah. percent we're not going to let you pay and we don't pay mm -hmm. we are here to support yeah. may god bless you we will all be, be departing from here but may the lord take you home safely Amen. god bless you thank you thank you that's that's the chairman of the board, uh, splendid. So, ladies and gentlemen, the board, uh, the chairman of the board is with the union for lay. Uh, and so, he is sponsoring uh, some students and get five hundred dollars to our mothers for the wonderful, wonderful uh, job they are doing. And also, he's also said, he also said now, and uh, uh, there is a peace deal. Uh, we have reached a compromise. Uh, they didn't want our brothers and sisters uh, on the other side, somebody to go to jail, and so they have to compromise. Because when somebody goes to jail, and they will say, oh, where was uh, Dr. Farlison? You know, so uh, they say, okay, or uh, Tarlison. Farlison, Tarlison. There's Farlison. Yeah. DJ is in the building. Hey man, tap it up, tap it up. My man was serious in the building. The man, the man is a is a is a son of Gandhi. The man eating Gandhi food. <laughs> and my man Abel is in the building. It's called Abel Kriyade. Hello, hello, hello. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Boto Sua Jawi, co-chair, national board of directors. It's a very good weekend. We all are happy. But sometimes when you see somebody, sometimes when you smile, you know, you think that everything is good. I've been reflecting throughout this weekend. And that the other day, I saw my little brother here in the cycle. You look at the video, you are right in the cycle. And I feel so horrible. Every time I come in the basement, I, I got reflected. My friend got starving when I was coming outside. I took a hoodie, I put it on. Then I was the one who stopped me. He said, Don't do it. People will feel sad. This is my car. I want to feel him. Well, I know that nothing can stop him from coming here, not even illness. Nothing can stop God stopping today. He will come here, no matter what. So we have gone through a lot of things, pain, suffering, but we're still surviving. We're still making it. It requires endurance, reservation. I mean, we want to ask the Sabo people, no matter what it entails, let's stand up. Family divided. Friends are not talking to one another. Because we want to see it, the right thing done. And those who are on the other side of the act, maybe two weeks, one month later, they will realize that they, may, they made a mistake somewhere. And John the Vexel. So let's like, keep pressing on. Little brothers back home. Education is a the problem. They have the desire. Some of them, they are very smart. I have a kid from my village. I do something about school. I talk to him every day. He needs money to go to school. And we have the opportunity. We're in a privileged society. Our children, they play together in the money to go to school. No school fee. So what we will have spent for their school fees, for them, since we're not spending, let's send it back home. And so, uh, the scholarship committee, I will take responsibility of two students. Thank you. Uh, that's the breaking news right there. Coach here, two students to receive knowledge. A former national uh, vice president of our union. Well, hello, everybody. Hello. 
Hi. Hi. <laughs> you know, um, when my little brother uh, Boto spoke just now, you know, I brought tears to my eyes. And I know exactly what he was talking about. And so, not to worry your patient, I want to say in this public manner that uh, I will be sponsoring two students, one in the name of Tiko Sua and one in the name of Nori Sinha. We want to nourish your hoax. We want to thank you very much, the Sabah community, for what you did. You know, it, uh, death is not something that is, a, even though it's setting though, but at the time you don't expect it when it happens, sometimes you are, you are throwing back. And so we're really throwing back. But uh, the people like us in my list on. So uh, we will be uh, sponsoring two students, one in the name of Tok Tiko Sua and one in the name of Narissa. And we want to say a very big thank you to the Sapo people for your participation into the whole process. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to say something, just let me know so I can hear you. Um, all protocols observed. I want to take this time again to thank the Sapo community for this great gathering last night all of the social aspect of it was done and precisely if you listen to me last night you got to realize that i represented sandal county i represented second second community and then i spoke in my own name i'm someone who's very reflective um if you if you analyze our activities here in the United States. Uh, I served as the Secretary General of the United Sapo Association in the Americas, the national body, during the administration of Kali Jebele. And so I am not strange to the Sapo community. Before the program yesterday, I wrote something in the chat room of the association if you went there, you will see it. I thank the president and her lieutenant and the entire executive committee and the board of the association and the community as a whole. And went so far to talk about the dreams of our people, like uh, Reverend Tali just said, the reason why the association came to a being. I was able to analyze all of that I also went ahead to you know, caution her and the administration to be aware because as Secretary General of the Association during the College of this administration, I saw everything that happened and led to the seven year split of the association. I was the recorder. Even at the time it was being closed, in fact, I went with one of the groups, but the same mistake that was made in Kali's administration, that group made the same mistake, and I pulled out. I'm a minister of the gospel, so I make sure when I'm doing anything, I make sure that consistency continues. Again, it is the same situation that we are faced with. We Sapo people need to be together. It's not for some time. As long as we, we succeeded to have this association, first of all, development comes about as a result of solidarity. The more we are together, the more we are solid together, the more we sustain for years, the more we can do development. But if every moment we divide, every moment we come together, it will, it will not help us. Secondly, secondly, I want to please appeal to Sapo people. Baba say on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and the children of Jacob shall possess their possession. Sano County is Sapo people's possession. The fact that we are successful to have this organization together does not mean we should forfeit our place in Sano County. We cannot just be self-contained. We have neighbors. We have to be a part of Sano County in order to be a part of the decision-making process. I've told my colleagues, what we are doing here is like children playing between the houses or playing on the local football field. And as they grow, they go professional. Let us not our potential be limited to this community-based organization, especially Sapo Association. As we are here, 
as we learn leadership, as we participate in leadership, let us start thinking about the national leadership of Liberia, of San Jose County. With regards to that, we cannot limit our activities to the Sapo Association alone. As we leave this, as we lead the Sapo people, we want to also by tomorrow start going on the national scene. That should be our objective. That should be our goal. But if we just want to do it as a means of sharing food, yes, we can build our community. We, but we also need a portion in the national government. So please, even here in the Delaware Valley, if you observe last night, the gentleman that represented Sano County Association National Body is from Worcester, Massachusetts. The rest of the other executive of the people did not come. As a sample man who's serving as the president of the local body, cannot stay away, even if the other people didn't come. The vice president, I talk, I the meet and greet. And we promised to be here, but he didn't come. And the rest of the executive didn't come. Something is speaking. Please, several people, you just, right now as we speak, because I know Harrison Jabba succeeded Thomas, uh, succeeded Thomas Wayne here. Please, uh, please, stop. Everybody, please, 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 don't do that. Please, listen, if that's money we are talking about, last night I said I will give some people $100. I, I said also on, on behalf of uh, uh, Saddle County Association, I will get several people hundred dollars, and I will sponsor a student. So I have made my contribution. Please let me, you know, say these words, and they are important. Please, the fact that, of course, we are doing it, we have to be able to listen to them. And so, ladies and gentlemen, where we are pushing is something that we try to push Saddle County. I mean, several people off from Saddle County, and we cannot let it happen. When it comes to power, when it comes to strong people, several people has them. I assure you, I've been with the association for more than five years now. I've been actively involved in the activities. The group of people we have, Sayo Pode, all of these guys that I can't just name right now. The moment we move into Sabo, I mean, Sano County Association, obviously, we play the role, same role we are playing here. The fact of the matter here is leadership. And so, please, I want to take this time again to appeal to all of us. Please. Please, let's come together. Let's go to Saddle County too. Thank you for the opportunity given me. Uh, that's uh, Robin Tobo there, former uh, National Secretary of USA. And he's also the, uh, the president of Saddle County Association, Pennsylvania chapter. Tell you don't want to start that one right now. Don't stop that. <laughs> Man, yeah. Hello. Uh, we will call to the max, Mr. Manning, for remarks. Uh, so we're bringing Claro Manning now to the microphone. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Vasa. The chair. Good evening to everybody. Uh, I spoke last night on the program. Uh -huh. I am a beautiful wife. But she coming. Beautiful K. Uh, but for now, yesterday we was to talk to our I mean old people, the woman that called the cow. But uh, because of time, the president said, when we count the cook out, then of course, those that want to speak to the old people that did it, that did a job, the cooking of the cow head, then we got to talk to them. So today, we don't want to uh, <clears throat> let our promise out. We got to fulfill it. So my wife and I, we deem it necessary, according to our tradition, to speak to the old people that did a brilliant job for the community. For that reason, my wife and I and the children, we give you guys $100 for the work done. Thank you very much. Yeah, for, for the mothers, the mothers, uh, uh, I give them $100 to get out of the, from the kitchen for the wonderful job that they, they did for uh, the program to be successful. And also, guys, you're joining for us to here, Esoteric, you know, you love this golden voice, you know, we're always 
bringing everything to you. So you have to make sure to go to my cash app, your donation. You can just be hearing my sweet voice, the information. You can donate something. Yeah, your voice is sign or your be do nothing. You share the link. You can share. You also follow me on YouTube. Yeah. Oh. How much? How much is it? Fifty dollars. I was. Wow. Let me see. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a breaking news right now. Voice of Sano got fifty dollars from the Queen of USA, Delaware. I think I gotta be doing it all the time. Yeah, it's a marketing myself too. <laughs> yeah. So all, all of you that are listening now, you're sad donating to that. I just get my fifty ball. My fifty box is fresh. Fresh right now. Zina, you can be drop something for me too. Tema pa tema get drop it eh. Tema also drop something Jenna for me too. Hey, if you wanna get money, man, so that you wanna have fun. They get money. They gonna drop it. Let's see how mothers here. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Hello. All right. Good evening, everybody. I love Sapo people. The reason I love my people is that they don't keep things at heart for long. You can slap or kill Sapo men here. When they say away, they finish. They will not ever think about that. If I talk, they come to conclusion about money and the scholarship. You know, more people, when we're going to school in Greenville, somehow we stay by ourselves. And a lot of people, the crew guys, they stay with their mom and dad. After school, they will go and eat something, but somehow we go hustle, go call Pamela and do a lot to sell it, Pamela, before we eat. When we go to school, they will tell you, say, when they be 100, sometimes they be 90, they say they do you. I told the crew guys, yeah, I do you. Mm -hmm. If you come from school, you have something to eat, and I have nothing to eat. I have to go call Pamela and sell to eat. If you make 100, and I be 90, I don't do you. <laughs> I do <douce> you. <laughs> yes? Um, scholarship business is here. And I want you people to take note. This scholarship, it will not be like some little scholarship. The scholarship should go to the bottom, to elementary schools in Waja Sinko, Mopo, and all Sapo headquarters from elementary. That important. We should not forget our attention, say somebody. Re high school, they will say we'll get the person scholarship to go to college. Most of those are the bottom. They really need it. In my own village, you want to see the video I'll show to you. We have, uh, in my own village, there are 45 horses in Jawi Town, and I have about 60 some more kicks. So not, they are, I'm uh, sorry for that. Sorry for that. Somebody, they are not even wearing clothes. Things are too tough. I, if you ask most of the Sabo people that arrive from Wedja, I singly take the initiative to build a school in Jawi Town. When I decide to build a school, I ask the people of the town, how do you want a school? They said, when you are going to school here, Jika caught you in the dust. So we don't want our children to be dusty. Because no guru, I bought a power saw. They make the plan, ball is in, they pay the town people. And this, this year, uh, let's say, summer, they are going to start the house. And I pay the town people to, 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 to build their own school. I have done that singly. I have been doing things singly. During the world, everybody ran away. When I talk about Sweet Lee Hospital, nobody could talk, speak Sapo or Crown. But I was speaking Sapo or Crown. There are people that can talk in here. So, our 
educational scholarship that we are going to provide will not go to people that make law. We will go to people that can teach our people. We going to people that we treat our people at the primary level, health, hospital. We will go to our people who will be able agriculture. These are basic things our people need. We want to look at that. We should not mostly sponsor people to college. Why are they all kids then? They in the dump out here. They don't even know ABC. Some of them, when they see door coming to town, they can go to greet door because they're the first time seeing door in the village. After the war. Before I leave, I must tell you, Madam, Madam Clark, And your official board member and board chair. The request for Wedja is Wedja clinic that is in um, Gallatin, the only clinic that helps the normal people in the lower Wedja. No medications now. We are trying something. But sometimes we want you people to look that direction. What we are doing. So, I want to tell the president, lower wedge again. One of last school they want to build in Jawi town, from Sinawai to Dumapu, no school. So, before we undertake any project, let ask the people, what are their needs? But we will not talk about our own sleeping place when we go there that we be able to go sleep. They your own sleeping place. That when you go there, then you have place to sleep. When the children are not going to school. For the student support, I will support one child. Because today I have my project on the going. Thank you. Uh, there's Honorable Jai with the uh, one student scholarship. All right. So we shouldn't build a uh, structure for ourselves in Sandra. Yeah, uh, we will now welcome to the max. Um, uh, our DJ, DJ. Uh, our mother wants to make a remark. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the mighty King. Amen. Well, I'm proud of our family. My name Rebecca Kiwia, the original. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kiwia, who know don't you are the lawyer in Carlos John, and they are the lawyer in Morovia. I'm a wife. This Sapo Association was started in North Carolina. A few of us. Fallacy is here, that's why I'm standing to talk. When we started with just a few of us, with Joe Jebwiri, was a president. And I was a first financial secretary. At that time, We go places. I was the only woman who would be among them. Palestine is not witness. Through Sapo Association, that's how I went to Minnesota for the first time. And went a lot of places. The only woman will always be with them. I'm standing here because as everybody speaking, I love my people. Yeah, I love my people. You know, sometimes not every money, everything is about money, but the love is very important. Up to now, Sapo Association, wherever it go, are there. Yeah.
But I'm not a person who likes to stand and make speeches and all that thing. I don't know. I don't like too much of talking. When Sapo Association were it divided during get with the time, the the little girl I cut off. My husband was with you. I will ask him question. You are a lawyer from home. And if Sapo divide and now you on the other side and the other side empty, what is your duty to do? I think you is the one to be the one to stand and say no, this is not right. And put them together. For me, I'm not coming until Sapo come to yourself and go back together. So at that time, I cut off a little bit. But when they keep back together, I plug up again. All the other uh, going to the top are there. Wherever they go, are there. Those who can remember me, they will see me there. And, and, and when they play me, Florida, North Carolina, all the places are there. And I'm staying here. As God gave me the strength to go, I will still be with them. Yeah. And <clears throat> friends say, my daughter, last night when you made that speech, tear came from my eyes. My little sister asked me, say, daughter, sister. She said, what, you crying? I said, I'm a, a quick, you know, little thing could make me cry. Well, I mean, when she spoke and left the, 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 the stage and came down, she said, let all the ministers come and pray for me, for the projects that she, she, she started by sponsoring children in the Sapo community or wherever in as a whole in Liberia or no, I mean Sapo and, 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 and I was Sapo among the Sapo people. Yeah, I'm a normal woman. I'm half and half. My father from Putu, he never even went to Putu and married to my mother who is normal woman. So I in normal I consider myself as normal. And when you look all around, there's no normal person beside my little cousin. He is only one. And I had to be with him and put my hand behind him. Whether the others here or not, I will still be with him. In Jesus' name. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say, as we are, we are, they support, they are, I don't know how many, they are uh, starting six session. Yes. But um, I want to remind you that the Namapo, we are still here. Even yeah, we are here. And wherever you go, we still follow. So, um, and Madam and, and, and President, understand. Sapo, we are all Sapo. And Sapo, we all here. But I will still be with you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Uh, let's quickly welcome to the mic the president of our union. She want to recognize somebody very quickly. I'm not going to take your time. I just wanted to do this quick. The last night I wanted to do this, but because of time, and we wanted our guests to have fun, we don't just want to take their money from them, and then they come, and they can't even dance or say anything. Uh, so tonight, today is the climax of the whole occasion. So I just want us, when we come here and we want to say something, let we just make it brief, so that we, you know, a lot of people coming by tonight, and we invite people here, they say, say, your day, all your program last night, they cook out, let we have fun. So we will allow people to come to say stuff because of scholarship, but just make it brief to the point, so that we can be able to, to have fun. So I want to recognize two, um, very quickly here tonight, I want to call President Kolo up. 
I just want to say something in a public manner. The reason I brought President Kolo up here tonight, it doesn't mean that the other presidents, the other executives, are not doing their fair share of the job. For President Kolo, his wife, Mola just died this week. The mother wife just died. Three, three or four days, the wife, mother, the mother-in-law, the woman was sick. They sent her to Ghana. And all that time, she was in Ghana. President Kolo went with us to Iowa, to Minnesota. He went for grieving in the house because the mother was seriously sick and they sent her to Ghana. We came back from our trip just on Tuesday or Wednesday, the mother died in Ghana. President Kolo was running up and down in, in, in North Tikula to see to A for them to carry the ballet to Liberia. But the reason I'm standing in front of the camera tonight to say something to President Kolo and Rebecca Kolo. When she placed the phone call to me on Friday and said, your president is coming, I broke down. She now a sample woman. No, she now a sample woman. To say, oh, because of my sample thing. She's a different trap. And married to a sample man. Who is a president? of a chapter, knowing the importance of being a president of a chapter. All of women will say, I'm grieving. When you call her, she's crying for her mother. She said, my mother born six of us, she took care of us by herself with no husband. And the time for her to enjoy her today, she is gone. And she's grieving. But she was able to tell her husband to come to support things while a woman. How many women would do that? They would say, my mom died, where are you going? So, President Kolo, because the day I hear Rebecca Kolo say anything, and you're in trouble with me. <laughs> Can you all just clap for Rebecca Kolo tonight? You all please clap for her tonight for me. Mr. Vice President, I thank God that you are in, you are in, in North Dakota. I want to say thank you, Rebecca, for believing in us and believing in that your husband loves his people. And you knew that if he didn't come for the inauguration, even though he was grieving, he was still well, not going to be so happy because he wanted to be here, he bought a ticket, everything. I thought you were not going to make it. So I just want to recognize you in a special way. On behalf of my national vice president, Mr. Mani, we want to say thank you. May you continue on the good cool work in North Dakota. And we are depending on you for August 4th. Okay? August 4th. Thank Okay. Okay. Also, before I sit down, quick, I want to recognize the two people right here. The two Reverend sitting down here. The two Reverend sitting down here. The two Reverend sitting down here. Reverend Bla and Reverend Sua. You may not like them, you may have your problem with them. They may do anything because, but these are two revving. That wherever we go, please have a quiet one second. These two revving, everywhere that we go, they are with us. They don't say because of their title. As old as they are, they still got the strength to follow us everywhere. Revving, we do not take this for granted. We appreciate you. For me, I need all the old people every day to pray for me.
so we bless God for your maker. Continue to bless you and continue to carry us as we all try to help our people back home. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the president of the union, our president, Professor Clamayo. Yeah, sure, sure. The microphone. I didn't find him, man. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jackie Right Weir. Uh, I'm the CEO for Independent Women of Rhode Island. And I know, eh? <laughs> and Winnie, she's one of our members. So she, uh, she was in the chat room the other day, and she said, "Oh, our organization having something, so you are invited. They inviting you." So I say, "Okay, we will come." But my sister had something last night. We couldn't come to your program. So I say, "All right, tomorrow at the cookout, I will try and reach her." So I'm here tonight from the Independent Women of Rhode Island. Winnie, your invitation has been accepted and I'm here. I don't know where you are, but this is a little envelope from the Independent Women. Who do I give it to? So, that's it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Independent Women. Not, not dependent women, you're independent women. Yeah. <laughs> they are not dependent, they are independent. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the Marxist Richard K. Uh, woman of God, the Reverend is here. Uh, she... Good evening, everyone. Um, Richard K. from Jerusalem. Maybe a lot of people don't know me because it's been a long time since I went to a Sapo gathering. But I'm a Sapo woman from Sino from Jerusalem. So I just want to bless God tonight that I'm here. And I also want to say thank you and congratulations to um, Madam Francis Clark, our president, and the vice president, Mr. Barney. Praise the Lord. Amen. Well, I'll say praise the Lord because that's who I'm. <laughs> All right. Um, the reason I come up here, last night when I listened to Madam President's speech, and she mentions about uh, the health care and scholarship. The thing that really uh, touched me is the health care. I was in Liberia in September 2021. And I saw how people are living in Liberia and how important it is for our people to be educated when they come to health. And then when I came back, one month later, I lost my little brother. He was walking and then he collapsed and there was no help. And it really broke my heart. So I said, I said it to my sister, I said, I'm going to order some uh, emergency stuff to send it to Liberia. I said because anybody in the house there can, you know, have a heart attack and nobody know what to do. I said so you need, you need to train yourself in how to help somebody before they can even make it to the hospital. And the tendency in Liberia is if somebody having a heart failure or whatever emergency they having, when they take them to the hospital, they say, we can't accept them. They have not even checked their pulse to know if the person is still alive. Is there anything they can do to help? And I felt that my brother died because there was no help. There was no first aid was given to him. And a lot of people been dying from that. So I pray that the health care thing that we are including in our program or uh, uh, the projects that we are about to undertake, I want us to really take it serious and it will really help our people. The same way we live in here, work and pay, that's how our people live in. 
That's how our people living in Liberia work. When I say work and pay, you work here, you pay here. So nobody has money. It's the same way in Africa. So we really, we are here and seeing how things looking. We need to really educate our people in how to, to take care of their own health and how to help themselves in situations that may have not based on it to take their life and we just take their life because they are not educated in how to handle such a situation. So in this manner, I donate $100 towards the health care and because of the health care, Madam Francis Clark, I'm with you. I might not be present in most of the activity. If I will, if I can, I will be there. But if I'm not there, once I know what's going on, I will give you my support. A lot of people think I'm not in a SAPO organization because they don't see me present, but I'm in a SAPO organization. Anything that's going on, that says Donald Carr, let me know. I always give him a contribution because I'm part of the organization. So by me not being present all the time, it doesn't mean that I'm not part of the organization. And if you don't know then today from, to, from tonight, know that Rachel is part of the SAPO organization. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, the membership of Rachel is now no. Oh, uh, okay. Hi, 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 everyone. Hello, hello. If I'm not mistaken, can you listen, please? If I'm not mistaken, I am the first. If I'm not mistaken, I am the first. Sapo movie producer. The first Sapo movie producer. So, our second movie premiere. Can you listen? We are going to close the movie theater. On March 13, March 13 at the hour 6 p.m., we will be having our movie premiere. The movie is entitled Regrets. I am inviting all of you to come and give us your support. We have Reverend Alice Tobo Morris as one of our lead characters. And this movie was written by me. So come and give us your support. You're going to enjoy the movie. It's very inspiring. Praise the Lord. So I came up here because I am, I am from one of the smallest villages in Waja called Sinawoyi. Or you call it Sabwe Tan, Gwin Sabwe Bli? The popular name is. The popular name is. Sinawai? By the Sano River. So. Most of the Sap, the Sapo boys. They left that village and they moved to Joasun. Because the village is in a forest. And because of the sound of river, car cannot go there. So because they are inconvenient, they are inconvenient, they decided to move to Joasun. But my family, my brothers, they have decided to stay in Sinawai because they do not want Wedja to split. If my brothers move from that place, people will not be able to travel from Joasun to go to Numapo. They will have to pass another way. So, but I gave God the glory for strengthening my little brothers. They are my smaller brothers. And has God could have it, 
My brother is one of the chiefs. He's a Nyonkia chief in a sample land. And we have a lot of kids in Sinowin there that they are not educated. And that's why I decided to join this unique organization. And that's why I also use my voice. A lot of things went viral because of my voice. And we had a lot of support because of my voice. So I am so grateful to be a part of this. My husband has just a uh, volunteer to sponsor two st uh, students. I'm going to also sponsor two students. Yes. So I will be sponsoring two students. I'm also a gospel artist. I, I am jack of all trades, but master of none. Thank you, Minister. That's been talented. Wabe. Thank you. That's been talented. You want me to come? Mr. Goa. Mr. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, we get it. We get it. All right. DJ, 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 a second. Somebody writing for us? Is that Jawi? Who writing? Huh? You writing? You writing the information? You? <laughs> you writing the information? Okay. All right, guys, please, please. We want to do this rapidly. So uh, we'll be asking people when you come up, one minute, max two minutes, please. So that people can dance and they can't wait. But even though this is very important. So, yeah, guys. Ne who's next? Okay. All right. Good evening. Good evening to my Sapo people. Well, I'm so happy tonight to be here. As you guys know, uh, I've been part of this organization for quite a long time. Uh, my first encounter with the organization was through my friend, Madison Freeman. So I think it was around 2014 when he introduced me to the local chapter. So afterwards, I started coming to a meeting. I've been active. I mean, with the activities of the organization. Right. And then for uh, afterwards, my friends that are standing with me here tonight, uh, Green Tape and my brother, Anthony Kamara, I also approached them and said, oh my man, there's an organization that I'm part of. Right. So I would love you guys to, to, to come on board. Yeah. So, So, um, I think uh, the convention of 2020, these two guys and myself, we, we were in North Dakota, the convention that was in North Dakota, we were part of it. And then this gone convention, as you all may know, I was the convention chairperson. All right? So tonight, I just want to make all matters short. The, the four or the three of us standing here tonight, we want to pledge six hundred dollars. Wow, 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 wow! Come on, better tell us. Also bringing in six hundred dollars. Yeah, two a, two a piece. Six hundred, two a piece. So, uh, what we wanted for this morning to do, we want this fund to be directed to ed to the education funds. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So the scholarship funds. The guys, six hundred dollars for scholarship. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Great guys, great guys. You know, we, we bring great people on board. We we'll bring great people on board. Okay. Thank you, everybody. 
Nasa on your Aulu Wao Aulu Wao. What can we use of body? Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, looking at the, uh, the importance attached to the scavenger program. Uh, looking at the importance attached to the scavenger program, on behalf of my families and myself, I will sponsor five students. We should $1,000. Thank you. Wow, the corporate minister is breaking you. Five students. Five students. A breaking news the the publicity man. Five students, one thousand dollars. That's breaking news, Minnesota. The national publicist, money soda, snow soda, money soda, cold soda, snow soda. Yeah, <laughs> they got one thousand dollars for scholarship. Wow, Arizona Tote, Marit. Well, Zan Tote, uh, Kede Wee, the Queen bringing two, th two thousand. The national public said, just dropped one thousand dollars. Wow, wow, wow. Baby? I come in. All right, so we got to find our steam here. For last night, who know, you want to know how much we generator? Then we need quiet TV in the building. Perfect decorum, somebody will say. The financial team, if you want to get a financial report for last night. Last night, financial report, if you want to hear that. One second. So if you want to get a financial report from last night. Yeah. I, I want to get it. Yeah. The financial report last night. If you want to hear the financial report from last night, financial report. The final team, they have done their work. The guys have done the tabulation for last night. The inauguration, they are about to do financial report. And so we want quiet team in the building. Okay. So we, we want to. Is it? Is it? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got the incoming senator of Grand Jeddah County, DJ. The incoming senator of Grand Jeddah County, Prince. Okay, You're coming in the for the guy. All right. Oh, we, are to, we are calling to the microphone. Prince, Prince, the senator. The incoming senator of Grand Jeddah, Prince. The incoming senator for Grand Jeddah. Paul and where's Paul, the Archbishop. Of, of, of Philadelphia, the Archbishop Paul and, and the Senator. I, I'm told that the incoming, the incoming Senator of, of Grand Jeddah County and the Archbishop of Philadelphia Paul. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So, Prince, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The sec the secretary the incoming is eh? 
The quarry? The big one has been in the All right, so, uh. I am Paul Yipan Chiyon and a member of the community here. My is a crew woman. My father is a Sapo man. But I lean more with the Sapo people, even though I'm not a full-fledged member of the Sapo community organization, like the association today that we are attending. But I always support the organization. From Sapo youth to now, I always make sure to make my contribution whenever I'm called upon. So in this light, I would like to pledge tonight on behalf of myself and my family the amount of $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you can take my number and my name. Yeah, I will give it to you. Yeah. So I, I will give you the amount of $1,000 to the support organization. So you can mark my name. And my brother is here, and uh, he and I will have come a long way. Yeah, oh, yeah. You want to say something too? Thank you, Babu. Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Even though, um, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys for the uh, unity. And that's why we want in the community. Not to hold on a hostage. For me, I will not pledge, but I would. Um, I will not pledge, but I would donate. So I give him hundred dollar right now. Anybody that get cash out, give me your number. I will. I will send you hundred dollar right there. Thank you very much. The senator does not pledge. The senator just take uh, one zero from there. The senator drop one hundred dollars for us. Thank you, senator. The incoming senator of Grand Jeter County. Cash Abo, now bless you. And so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Voice of Sado is coming up shortly. Uh, the first lady and the, and, and, the, and the first man of Voice of Sado, CEO. You gotta, you gotta stay tuned. You are following Voice of Sado in the diaspora with Esoteric. Uh, you see everything popping. Huh? Water? I've been blessed by the chair lady. I've been blessed. I don't want to come. 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 I Uh, the mother of our, our deceased. <laughs> Mother Mayor wants to say something, please. <laughs> So our, our mothers, our mothers, y'all give us a second, Mother Mayor, a friend, they want to say something, please. Yeah, they come, y'all hold a second, please. Yeah, the people are coming. No, we're coming. Yeah.
Because he came one on my year, where are you? Ever so today our trap on here, farm the work here, farm the clever work. So here, 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 DJ, the chair lady. Oh, Oh, well, DJ, DJ. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Voice of Sino. I will ask for Terry. The chair lady. I'll be blessed. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen. All uh, right now, as a mystical interlude, and then we'll be giving the report uh, from a uh, last night inauguration, a uh, financial report uh, from the first night to today. You're gonna get a holistic update uh, from the finance team. Yes, the chair lady of Eula just got two hundred dollars. And then a lapa suit from our mothers for giving Marjorie you know, Smith, uh, the chair lady of USAA, uh, the cow tail. Able bli won. Able bli se won. Yeah. Uh, I told you when you know, you are not in Philadelphia this weekend. Ah, uh, you are missing. Uh, a vast, a vast portion of your life, and you are seeing it for yourself. So next time when I get on the platform and say, "Come to Philly," you must come. Aristotle said, "The purpose of life is to be happy," and so wherever elation is, you got to be there because you get money to get house, to get car, to get some kind of thing. But the end product of everything is happiness. You don't want happiness for something else. It's for itself. Yeah. So this is it. We are uh, in the city of uh, Drexel, Drexel Hill in, Pol in Pennsylvania. And uh, right now it's a celebration time. Yeah, and next I know my man, the USAA. 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 Yes. 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 
Maya, you know so. And they're telling her, thank you. We do appreciate you guys for everything y'all did. Thank y'all too. May God bless you. Wherever the money comes from, may it grow more and more and more. Thank y'all very much. All right, guys. So we are waiting for the. Let me finish it. Oh, okay. Somebody say one more time. So face the camera. Somebody wants to say something? My kid or the You gave me your suit. You said you like me. So, Masatu, I gave you Holland, La Paso. Because I gave you money. Money can go. But close, it can remember your friend. Thank you. What did she say? Mame, you are a supper woman now. It's like a vegetable woman. Um, I say, Mr. Jawi, Mr. Jawi, please talk to the board and then make my president, Fred Graham, please come forward. Please come forward. I'm here with my president. And uh, Mr. Fred Graham is sorry. Tina Wajira is my powerful woman in the state of Iowa and in the American level and the African level because we are going to extra level in Iowa. This is my president. And Mr. President, you are here. You are the one that make me. My mother made Mary Glay. Yeah, the thing that the supper post said they gave me almost three hundred dollars. Before giving me the three hundred dollars, they were also it was suit where they were also in Iowa two weeks ago, and they celebrated my birthday. And I'm that kind of person, and when you give me a piece of candy, what I can be sharing? Not work for it. In my life, for all these years, I've been leading from state to state, so you like, nobody has ever done that. I don't know you. Who know the woman I know on your team? I'm not talking about my Iowa people. But you cherish me eating a horse. You celebrate my birthday. I'm 47 now. I'm a 47. I'm a, I'm a very old woman. You see me on 47. I got five grandchildren. Yeah, I, I'm, I don't have my age. But you see me, I'm beautiful girl with my grandchildren. You see me, you see me. You know, play money, you know. I got eight children. But I stay beautiful. We got it. We got it. The Liberian war, I frustrated my life. I stay beautiful. So now all my grandchildren who support people, I want to say thank you. But United Support Association honor Madam Frances Clark and Verma Mayer, you know, I want to say this. Sapo people is not different from grandchildren people. Sapo people, they are not different from Babri Deshwe clan. They are not different from Côte d'Ivoire clan, clan la clan. Clan, we are too many. C'est quoi? 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 C'est I don't want to stay right here. I don't want to stay right here. At the back, the battle cry of the late. Nale, Nale, Brian, the Jaina Tia, I would watch Sally. At the Alamo, a boy came watching on here. I sack your lava. Why were you? We got a breaking news here. Your face, your face, your face, your face, Oh, 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are missing Philadelphia. <laughs> you see how they're doing it? The national chairlady of Eula uh, has been giving some gifts here because of a magnanimity. You know, when you are generous, that's what happens. A good person gets blessings from the people. That, that decision she made uh, to give the chair lady of USAA that cow tail. This is what now the ladies they are coming out to to appreciate. Her. The cow tail she gave Margin you know, Smith. Uh, the Metria donated two suits, gave her two suits to appreciate the chair lady for honoring us. For yeah, thank you so much. I want for all to carry the community where that what they call crown people that carry flower. Crown people, we are too many, so that why we get name, but we are together. Yeah, thank you so much. I got a 20 year old son for what? Razon. Razon, right? Oh, I don't even know that my son has seen me. I know you from Sinko. So, I got a 20 year old son who can be support president anytime. He's now in the um, Minnesota Marine. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, financial report, financial report. DJ, 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 DJ. Stop it, stop. Okay, register of Queen Contest. Queen Contest. This year, convention. Ladies and gentlemen, the financial report. We got IRS. We got financial report. Financial report. From last night, financial report. Financial report. IRS. A department of money here. Yeah. And we have the Department of Money. You want to say something? Okay. Good evening. Hello, all my good support people. Hello. Hello to all my good support people. Please give me your ear one second. So we believe in action for all. We don't talk. We don't talk too much. Yeah, we believe in action. Good evening, my support people. And all other people here in the house. I don't think. Anyway, our voices. Our voices. Is... Hey! Hello! Hello! My Sabo people! You know, to express the kind of love that some of us have for our people is, is to the higher esteem, you know. One good thing 
Oh, I want to, I want to talk to some people today. From now on, my Sabo people, one of the major things that we need to consider when we're taking decisions, let us consider consequences in taking decisions. You know, I got tricked, I got tricked when I heard that the United Sabo Association is embarking, is embarking on goals that are so tangible to our people, more especially when it comes to scholarship, the healthcare, and industrial scientific revolution. I got tricker. And on behalf, on, be, on behalf, you know, some, you know, some people are very petty. It's, it's very petty. It's very petty. When, uh, it's very petty. It's, very, it's too petty for you know when people come up to talk and ask for your divided attention. You don't give people attention. But however, we know that our people that that's the behavior. We will deal with it. We've been dealing with it from time immemorial. In short, what I want to say. In short, what I want to say. I, I got track up when I heard that the United Sabbath Association is embarking on three major goals. On behalf of my wife. And the United Sabbath Association Florida Charter, we want to sponsor two students. We will be sponsoring two students. Oh, uh, so I uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm on bill. <laughs> All right, guys. Guys, it's a financial report. I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end the video and start a special report. Another video, special for the financial report. One second. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Don't go away. We're coming with the, the video, exclusive video for financial report from last night and today, everything, the three days, they're gonna give you holistic update.